Whisper Hypnosis. My name is Jason Newland. My website is jasonnewland.com and you can contact me on there if you wish to. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. And I'd like to take this opportunity listening because without you listening there'd be no point in me making these recordings so thank you now I'd like you to get yourself comfortable As I always, well, quite regularly say, yeah, lay down on a comfortable bed, and there should be no other kind of bed other than a comfortable bed. So, if for whatever reason your bed is not comfortable, and you need to get a different bed or a different mattress. sorted because then at least you're giving yourself a more of a chance because although it's very possible to relax and sleep in a bed that perhaps isn't the most comfortable it's so much easier actually enjoy laying on your bed and I've slept in many many uncomfortable beds over the years and the bed I've got now was one of the most expensive purchases other than the carpet that I've ever paid out for but it's worth every penny pennies, I paid it in cash, you know, but it's a very comfortable bed. I'm not, try I'm not trying to sell you beds, by the way, I'm just saying that there are some practical things that we can do that are useful. like making sure that you're if you're wearing pajamas or you're wearing something in, in bed make sure that you're comfortable and you're wearing loose clothes ensure that the temperature of the room is at a nice temperature for you so it's not too cold or too hot sure you go to the toilet before you get into bed possibly, you know those things that you don't need to be told but can be useful to remember because it's a bit annoying when you start to drift off and then you need the toilet however I find I, I get up every night at least once to go to the toilet. More information than you probably need to know, but I'm, I'm a middle aged man, so it's kind of standard, I think. Every time I get back into bed, I fall asleep so quickly. Every single time. It's almost like I've not really fully awakened. I just 
just plod into the bathroom. I have the light on in the bathroom all night so that I can uh, aim correctly, basically. Because if I have the light off, I would turn it on. And having that light turned on would potentially wake me up a little bit. So that light being on anyway doesn't seem to wake me up. Go to the toilet, come back. And I just, it's almost like I sink back into the position I was before. just feels so comfortable, so relaxing, and I don't think there's anything weird in noticing that we can experience pleasure in some of the small things that we do. You can experience pleasure when you eat have something to drink, if you're thirsty and you have a glass of water or anything that's liquid, there's pleasure there. If you need to go to the toilet and you do, it's pleasure, it's a pleasurable experience. If you need to eat, you're really hungry, you have something to eat, there's pleasure, especially in those first couple of mouthfuls. There's pleasure when you get home from shopping. Maybe you've carried the shopping from the store or maybe you've unloaded it from the back of your car and you put all that stuff down on the kitchen floor or the kitchen counter or wherever you put it. And perhaps you take your coat off and you just sit down in your chair you kick your shoes off there's pleasure there's pleasure in putting down those heavy bags pleasure in your hands that relief pleasure in your feet when you take your shoes off so your feet can breathe and feel unrestricted pleasure in just sitting in a chair and resting your legs. There's pl can be pleasure in just closing your eyes. These are little bits of pleasure that are available to us throughout the day and throughout the evening. Every day of our lives seem a bit strange maybe to be focusing on such things but it really can help you to appreciate those moments and realise that actually lying down on the bed as I've said in the past, is actually a pleasurable experience. Turning the lights out, closing your eyes, after you've laid down in your bed, is, is pleasurable. And I don't know how much attention actually pay to that pleasure and it's a different kind of pleasure it's not the same as being on a roller coaster or making love or you know getting drunk or you know it's, it's a, if whatever people have pleasure with it's a very gentle pleasure that's there which allows you to feel good and when you feel good you relax and when you relax 
brushing your teeth. The feeling of your mouth after you brushed your teeth, it feels nice. The way you feel after maybe drinking the first cup of coffee of the day, or the first cup of tea, or even orange juice, whatever it is you drink, it feels pleasurable. sleeping alone or with a partner or maybe you've got your animal or dog or a cat or a ferret sleeping with you perhaps you're sleeping you've got your son or a daughter sleeping in a bed with you or a baby in a cot next to your bed so many different variations that's personal for you
slows down and the whole process of going to sleep the process of being asleep the process of dreaming and the process of waking up is all supplied as part of the package there's nothing says 